what is up everyone welcome to my channel my name is mariah may i also go by the name the glamour i'm a pro wrestler from the uk and i make youtube videos and today's video is going to be a zara and brandy melville haul now i normally don't get to go to brandy just because it's all the way in london it's a bit of a trek especially with lockdown and everything like that i've literally not been for ages so i did go to london and i did get to go to brandy and i went a little a little bit crazy just because i never get to go and their stuff is so nice just the colors like i'm literally wearing one of their tops now and just the colors and everything are so nice i did pop into zara and get some jeans and a few other bits so we'll show you guys what i got i will be trying everything on and giving you my honest review but before we jump into the video don't forget to subscribe turn on those notifications and give this video a big thumbs up this is my brandy bag <laughs> It's pretty big, as you can see. The first thing I got, I am actually wearing. Everything from Brandy is one size, I believe. Last time I checked. I mean, I just grabbed the thing on top, so I hope it's still one size. I am actually wearing the first thing that I got. And it's this really lovely soft navy tee. I mean, you can button it all the way. I don't think this is meant to be undone, but I just really liked how it looked. So I'm rocking with it. I'm going with it. And it's just this nice little vest top. And I got a few other bits and pieces. I mainly went for like white and baby pink and navy. The first thing that I got, I am literally in love with. I did actually try these things on so if you see a bit of makeup and stuff. First thing that I got is this little v-neck sweater. I am absolutely in love with this. I know we're coming into summer so I probably won't, I mean I live in the UK so maybe I will but I don't think I'll get to wear it right this moment. It is kind of just a purchase for autumn and for winter because it's just a staple piece. This is never going to go out of fashion, it's just a classic tight sweater. It is actually pretty lightweight though so I do feel like on a summer night or something you could actually wear it. But the thing I liked about it is just how tight it is and the v-neck at the front, I think that's super flattering. I do tend to go for tight tops. I'm not a massive fan of baggy stuff, I just feel like I look like a box when I wear them. So I do tend to go for tight stuff so I did go for this really nice v-neck sweater it's obviously just a really nice bright white i love the rib material on it and as i said it's a staple i literally had something similar in black from like asos and i wore it to death like I, I can't wear it anymore it's like it's you know when you wash something so much that it just like goes like so hard and it's really uncomfortable they're just a staple piece it's going to go with literally everything it was just absolutely perfect and i love the cut the next thing that i got are these navy trackies and then they just say malibu California on them again everything is one size so they're just kind of tight at the waist and then they go baggy I absolutely love trackies I think it's because of lockdown they've just converted me into a tracksuit gal I just love them but to be honest I always used to literally come home from school work and literally just think about getting into my trackies because it's just the best feeling in the world to get into your trackies and take your bra off we all know that this is just a really nice pair of again like oh my god they kind of why do they why do they match? <laughs> Why did I accidentally buy a full tracksuit? It's just this really nice kind of dusty navy almost. I don't know if there's a better word for it, but I just think it's like a really nice soft navy. It's going to be really subtle. It's going to go with a lot of different stuff. You can't go wrong with a pair of trackies. They're super soft inside. They come in at the bottom, so they're not going to drag or anything like that. I do have a pair of flare trackies, but I never wear them out because what do you wear on your feet with a flared tracksuit bottom? I don't know but these I absolutely love they're just a staple piece again to be honest a lot of the stuff that I got here are either trackies or tops that are just going to go with so much stuff that's the next thing it's probably one of my favorites but one of my more riskier things so it's this gorgeous baby pink which if you're on my channel regularly you know I adore pink like the fact that I'm wearing blue today is a little bit strange it's a little bit weird but I adore baby pink. It's just my favorite color. It looks kind of white just because why I'm filming is super bright. But it's not. It is like a really nice baby pink. And it's just this really soft kind of knitwear material. It is ribbed. And then it is actually a v-neck. I don't know which way it is the front or back to be honest with you. It just kind of looks evenly cut. The reason I think this is risky is because when I see this, I always see it on like a very petite person with none of this. <laughs> And I don't know if it's necessarily going to suit me. I did try it on and on me it kind of looks like more of like a tight vest top. Whereas I think like on the kind of desired person the designer probably drew it for. It's meant to be a little bit loose and hang. But I do kind of like that because it just looks, you know, it just looks different on me. I knew it would. But I just couldn't get over the colour and just how soft it was and how nice it was. So I did get this and it is probably one of my favourite things. I don't think it looks how it's supposed to look on me but I'm not mad about it. The next thing that I got, I wasn't sure if I was going to like. But I tried it on and I do really like how it's come out. So it again is this lovely baby pink colour. It's just my 
my dream, you know? <laughs> it's just my absolute dream and love to have these. So there's this really nice baby pink color and then it's got a really nice v-neck. It's cropped and it's baggy. So the reason I went for it, I know it's baggy and I'm always a bit like ah, about baggy stuff, but because it had the v-neck and then because it was cropped, I feel like it's gonna be a really flattering fit. I did actually kind of wear it like off one shoulder. There's a lot of different ways you can wear these. If you're not comfortable with it being like a super v, you can kind of wear it higher up and have it kind of fall at the back more. So it's very versatile, which I do like. I love the color. I just think the knitwear from Brandy is just so gorgeous. Just like all these little details, just, oh, it's so nice. The final clothing thing that I got from Brandy are these pink joggers and then they just say New York on them. And I kind of like it because everything I got was kind of like navy white and baby pink. <laughs> it's like they could all go together. But it's just these little pink trackies. Now I didn't realize because maybe I went shopping after a bottle of wine. Like maybe I went for lunch, maybe I had a bottle of wine and then I went to the shops. <laughs> and I didn't really realize, but I grabbed this from the clearance rack. I literally saw the baby pink, gravitated towards it, got this pair of trackies checked out. And when I was checking out, the woman was like, oh, like, you know, there's, there's no tag. And she was like to the woman, other woman, like, can you go grab one? And the other one was like, no, it's like the last or whatever the term is. The receipt is just something weird. And then, yeah, so I got home, I got it out of the bag and I had like this dark pink stain on it. And I was like, what? Like, what happened? Like, I, I didn't see that when I picked it up because obviously like, I think it was hanging or maybe it was like kind of folded. I don't know, but it was like hidden. And then I just didn't, when they were like, oh, it's the last one. I didn't think there was anything wrong with that because yeah. And then my boyfriend was like, oh yeah, but you did get it from like the clearance rack. So maybe it's there because no one wants it because it has a stain on it. And I was like, oh my God, I was so upset. And then also with Brandy, like you can't get refunds. You can only get store credit or exchange, but it's all the way in London. And I don't go that much. So I was just like, ah, but not, not to fear. I got some vanish, put it in the wash and it came out and they are literally good as new. I can't even believe it. Cause it looked kind of like bleach if I'm honest. That's kind of what the mark looked like. And I was like, oh, it's like proper like, stain but i was like i'm gonna give it a wash i'm gonna put some vanish in it we'll see what happens and they've literally come out good as new which i'm so happy about because i love this color i actually got my mum a pair of these but like they didn't have a logo on them the ones they had in stock so i did get my mum a pair of these and i was like in love with the color and then i saw these for me and i was like <gasps> What a dream. So we had a little bit of a situation with them, but they're here. They smell amazing too, because I put a lot of detergent and conditioner in. Finally, I did get some accessories. So the first thing that I got are these little hair clips. I absolutely love these. I have so many ideas about how I would style my hair and wear these. The only one I'm not keen on is like this orangey color. I don't, I don't really know, and even the red, I'm, I'm not sure about, but to be honest, I really wanted the baby pink and the white and the black. I was kind of tempted though, like you could literally probably just go to Sainsbury's and you know like they have the back to school section, like you could just get some. I don't know why I paid like four pound, four pounds not too bad, four pounds for some hair, but it's not too bad. Is it? <laughs> And then the next thing that I got is just this really cute baby pink scrunchie. I kind of just went for such like a, a colored theme. I don't know what was going on, but I was very like on brand with it all. But this is just super nice. I always wear my hair half up, half down. So this is actually perfect for it. I do actually need to get my hair done soon. I'm not, I'm not vibing with it. I've literally talked to a middle party and like that's when you know it's all gone wrong for me. But yeah, I did just get this really cute little scrunchie and this one was, it was only two pound, which I didn't think was too bad. Then we do have Zara. So I am actually in the first pair of Zara jeans, but I will insert me trying them on so you can see them a little bit more than now. But I am literally in love with Zara jeans. I got a pair from that. Well, I got my first pair of mum jeans from like ASOS and they were, they were misguided on ASOS. And then I went to Zara and I saw mum jeans. I just got this weird addiction to them where I love baggy jeans. Now, like I used to hate jeans because skinny jeans are disgusting. Like, they're foul. Who invented skinny jeans? They're gross. So I never wear skinny jeans. Like, I hate them. They don't fit me. Past couple of years as well, like, I do bodybuilding. I've been trying to put on size with wrestling. So, like, it's such a waste of money to buy them because they just never fit me. And they're so uncomfortable because my body's changing all the time. Whereas, like, with joggers, leggings, skirts and stuff, they're stretchy. And do you know what I mean? Like, you can, you've got room with them. Whereas jeans, it's like, no. Absolutely not. The fact that mum jeans are in style, flare jeans, it is just everything that I want in life. So I've got this really nice grey pair. I have an acid wash blue pair, a light blue pair, and then another blue pair. I was going to say like, oh, I've got one of every colour, so I'm sorted. No, I haven't. I just got four light blue pairs for no reason. 
<laughs> I was basically saying as well, like I really wanted, you know, the jeans that kind of split at the bottom. Like as I was getting these out, I was saying to my boyfriend, like, oh my god, the, the only one more pair of jeans that I want to get are the ones that split at the bottom. So when you wear like strappy heels and stuff, it shows them. I didn't realize that I bought some. I thought these were just like your run of the mill mum jeans. So they're a really nice acid wash color, but apparently I needed another acid wash. I went for a 36 just because I think I got a 38 before and they were tight to be honest, but I picked up a 30 in the store and they just, they didn't look like they would fit me. So I went for a 36 in these and they're a really good fit. They're just so gorgeous. And then they have rips on them, but then at the bottom, they have the flare and the split. I can't get over it, it's like the best thing ever. So I'm so excited to wear these jeans. I have so many ideas for them. The final thing that I got, it's a little bit random, but basically the last time I went to Zara, I got these really nice two pieces. I got like a white top and bottoms and then a pink bottom. And I thought I could mix and match it just because they didn't have the pink top in stock. And I was like, it's not the end of the world. It does mix and match. But the Zara had the top in. So this does look really random, but I actually got it to match a two piece that I've already got. So I'm very excited about this. I always wanted it and I was like, I just kind of, because I never go to Zara, I kind of came to terms with the fact that like, I'm probably not gonna get it just because yeah, like it'll probably be gone by the next time I go, but I went pretty soon after I went the first time and I was able to get the other half of the set. So that is everything that I got from Zara and Brandy. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know what your favorite thing is that I got. I will also link down below my vlog because I do vlog all of my trips, shopping, wrestling, training, whatever it might be. I vlog my whole life, so I will link this one down below where I did actually grab these items. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on those notifications, and I'll see you all on the next video. Bye.